Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Cook With Me video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide points for all three programs and I also share calories as well. So in today's video, it's gonna be a Cook With Me video. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I'm making for dinner tonight. So the recipe I'm making tonight is one that I got from eatingwell.com. I have really been enjoying the Eating Well website. I honestly don't really subscribe to too many magazines, but Eating Well is one that I really do enjoy. I think their recipes are simple. I like the ingredients they use. As with any recipe, there are some modifications that I make and I'll always share that with you. So I'll link the recipe down in the description box below and if I do any modifications, I'll share that with you as well. So let's get started with this dinner. So for this one, I have all my ingredients already in a bag. So if you watch my meal prep videos, you see that I do DIY dinner kits. So I basically have almost all the ingredients in here. There are some things like the olive oil, some things that I don't put in my kit. So I'm just gonna take everything out. So in here I have 10 ounces of pork tenderloin medallions. Now for this recipe, this makes enough for four so i'm only going to be making enough for two so i've kind of taken the recipe and just cut the ingredients in half with the exception of a couple things the dijon mustard i'm still just going to use probably the two teaspoons and because that just gets put over the pork but everything else i've kind of split in half and also for the pork they suggest one pound of the pork tenderloin for the four servings, so that's four ounces each, and I'm doing five ounces in each portion of mine, so I have 10 ounces here. And I have actual medallions. I've taken a pork tenderloin and just cut it into little medallion pieces, so this probably won't take as long to roast. So I've got an onion that I'm only gonna probably need to use half of that, and then I have my potatoes. I've already weighed those out, so I have six ounces of potatoes. I'm gonna actually be peeling mine, but if you don't wanna peel them, then you can just wash them real good. So six ounces of potatoes. And then I also have in here two red peppers. They're roasted red peppers that come in the jar. So I have two of those. And then in here I have a tablespoon of light sour cream. In here is a mixture, and I don't even remember what the mixture was. This is the topping for the pork which is three quarters of a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. That's what's in there. And then in here I have the Dijon mustard. So there are other things we're gonna need, like some lemon juice, olive oil, and then I think there might be areas where we need more salt, so I'll go over that. And then I also have some broccoli down in here that I'm gonna get washed up. So it says two cups of broccoli, I thought I had two cups in here, but <laughs> clearly that's not two cups of broccoli. So I'm just gonna cut these ends off. That's okay though, when I'm done cooking this, I do have some frozen broccoli that I can add to it if I feel like we need more. But I think with the potatoes, we should be good. What I'm gonna do is take this large rimmed baking sheet, and this is gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 425. So the recipe says to put this in the oven now. So I'm gonna do that while the oven is preheating to the 425. Okay, I'm gonna take my potatoes. Normally I would peel my potatoes just because I have to be careful with skin, but these skins are real thin, so I think I'm gonna be all right leaving those on there. So I'm gonna get this washed. I'm just gonna wash it in some vinegar water, and then I'm gonna get my onion cut up. Okay, so I decided to use the whole onion. It's just going on the tray with the potatoes anyway, so I'm fine with that. We really like onion anyway. So I had my potatoes in vinegar water and then I just scrubbed them real good. So I'm just gonna cut these into about one inch pieces. Okay, I think some of those are a little smaller than one inch pieces. So now I'm just taking the potatoes and onions and putting them in a bowl. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. I only need about an eighth of a teaspoon. So the recipe says to put in one tablespoon of oil and a quarter teaspoon of salt. But for me, I have to remember that I'm cutting this in half. So I'm only gonna need a half a tablespoon of oil and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just 
just mix that up. All right, so now the recipe says to get these on the pan, spray the pan with cooking spray, get these on there and let these roast for 15 minutes. And then we do some other things. And then when the pork goes on there with these, it goes in for another 25 minutes. So I think my potatoes are cut a little bit too small. So I think I'm just gonna put them in for maybe about seven minutes. So it just depends on the size of the potatoes that you're using. So I think my camera wasn't on before. I took this pan and sprayed it with some cooking spray and then I put my potatoes and my onions on there. I only had these in for five minutes. So I decided to take them out now because like I said, the recipe called for them to be chopped and I really cut them into a lot smaller pieces. So I know these are not gonna take that much longer. So I'm taking them out now and then I'm gonna get the rest of the ingredients together, put the pork together and then put them all back in. So now we're going to take the broccoli and put that in a bowl. To the broccoli, again, same thing, about an eighth of a teaspoon, if you're just doing it for two, of salt. And then if you're doing for four, it says two teaspoons of olive oil. Since I'm just doing two, I'm just going to do one teaspoon. So this measuring spoon is a half a teaspoon. So I'm just going to do two of those. And then just give that a toss to coat it. And now we want to take the garlic, which I didn't even see my garlic. It's still in my bag. <laughs> so I have a garlic clove down in here. So I'm just going to peel that. I'm not used to peeling it like this. Usually with garlic, I'm mincing it up. So I just take a knife and like smash it and then the peel comes right off. So I'm not used to peeling it this way. So we're going to leave that whole, leave it intact and put it on some aluminum foil. So then it says to drizzle it with the remaining one teaspoon of olive oil, which in my case is just going to be a half a teaspoon. And then fold that up. I actually have quite a bit of aluminum foil there. I don't think I need that much. And then set that aside for now. Now we're going to take the pork medallions. If you haven't already put the seasonings together, go ahead and do that now. And you don't need to make the medallions. You can do actual, just the whole pork tenderloin if you want. I just chose to cut them into medallions. That's why I honestly don't think this is going to take even the 25 minutes. I'm probably just going to do it for maybe 20. And then I'm just going to dab those dry just a little bit. Now I'm going to take the mustard and just spread it over the pork. So this calls for two teaspoons and that's for the servings of four, but I'm doing the two teaspoons, even just for the two of us, we really like mustard. So if you would rather not have that mustard flavor, then just do the one teaspoon. And actually I'm not even using it all. So then take the paprika spices and just put that over top. Might be easier if I would move these together a little bit. And then I'm going to take the pork and just put that on the tray. And then I'm going to take my garlic and just set that on there. And actually, I need to move these over because I got to make room for the broccoli. We'll just put that broccoli right on this side. So we got a one pan meal going on here. Okay, that's going in the oven. So 25 minutes, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I may pull it out at 20 minutes. I'll see what it looks like. All right, as you can see, 20 minutes was plenty. So now I'm gonna set that aside. And then I'm gonna take this little portable blender. So if you have a food processor or blender, just use that. I'm gonna put in the garlic. So now I'm just going to add the red peppers, the sour cream, a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to blend that up.
All right, and that's what it looks like. Can't really tell in there. That is gonna be the topping. Now I'm just gonna get it all plated up and then pour that sauce over the top. All right, that's what it looks like. So this is seven points on blue and green, five points on purple, and 353 calories the way that I made it. So this is really good. I really like it. I definitely will say with doing it the medallions and cutting it that small, definitely could have come out of the oven earlier. I think I would do the initial five minutes like I did and then probably just 15 minutes after that based on how I cut it and the fact that I had these pork medallions because obviously they do not need that much time to cook. But if you have it in you know, the thicker pork, uh, pork tenderloins, that would probably work. So let me know in the comments if you end up trying this recipe and if you like it. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the